So I've got a, oh, like a, I don't know, three and a half horse uh, uh, model 9P here, overhead valve Briggs, lawnmower engine. And uh, <clears throat> some YouTubers are trying to convert um, similar overhead valve lawnmower engines into go kart motors. So normally a lawnmower engine sits like this, shafts vertical. So when you take it and you twist it that way, of course it's not going to stand up square. Uh, they've been developing problems like spitting oil out of the, the crankcase vent and uh, other things. I, uh, I wonder how well the oil engine would get oiled in the first place, but it might. Uh, bottom end might get oiled okay. Um, but <clears throat> I figured out why it, it sprays oil out here. It's because when it's horizontal like this, that's basically the high point of the crankcase. And then you've got this, uh, there's a hole on this point right here. This is a reed valve. It lets the pressure out of the crankcase. And underneath that, there's a hole. You can see it down in there on the left. I'm kind of pointing at it there. That leads to the passage right there. So, everything's okay when the engine's running this way. But, when you tip it up, that's no longer the high point. The high point's actually your the top of your cylinder head, way up here. And I really have to question how much oil is going to get up there when you, when you run it that way. And also you got the problem of uh, oil gets splashed up from the crankcase into there, and then there's a pocket that it has trouble getting back down to the crankcase. So it comes out in here, fills this up, somewhat and then then spews it out the the pipe so <clears throat> I don't know I guess the first order of business would be to close this off but when you do that you still have to relieve the crankcase pressure so I would be tempted to run this way to put some type of breather up in the top of this uh, valve cover here if you can like I say there's not a whole lot of uh, oiling getting up in there but so that that solution may work and it may not now <clears throat> my son thought of another one he said well what about instead of if you instead of running the engine straight up like that he said what if you tilted it on its side something like the animal or something now that that helps it drain back you're still going to need uh, a breather up on the top or somewhere other than down low there because yeah, that would make it even worse then and it would be right on the bottom um, but yeah mounting it on an angle like that then I'm suspecting that uh, that's going to the carburetor be on the low side it's going to cause uh, some carburetor mounting issues but again these are just uh, just suggestions I haven't tried any of this you know, I'm just kind of brainstorming here, uh, trying to solve this uh, problem for people that are running into it. And uh, like I say, I don't think they're using a Briggs engine, but I, I think they'd run into similar problems as this, since I think most of them are kind of built the same. I'm going to be looking for an off-brand uh, overhead valve lawnmower engine. I saw one a month or so ago, but I, uh, it was gone when I came back the next week, since generally speaking, I just get Briggs's at the scrapyard. So, you got... You got the crankcase vent oil leakage problem, and you get that you got to solve, like I said, by relocating it up on the top or somewhere else. Uh, as well as you need to get you need to get oil up to the to the valves. So there's going to be some some issues with this, but uh, hopefully we can figure out a solution to it since. You know, uh, I know they're making more and more overhead valves due to uh, emissions and all that. So I'll keep looking into it, but I just wanted to uh, let people know that, uh, you know, there, these may be some uh, possible solutions to it. So maybe someone out there could give it a try. Let me know if it happens, you know, tipping the, tipping the motor. or Then you might have to build a little uh, intake manifold elbow or something there to keep your carburetor horizontal. But there's always kind of all kinds of problems. I ran into problems when I ran the the flathead there, uh, lawnmower uh, sideways.
but uh, oiling issues and all kinds of things so anyway uh, just wanted to make people aware of that that uh, it may not be as easy as to just rotate it sideways and change the carburetor around 